the Euler formula obviously the stress at which column buckles decreases as the column becomes longer after it reaches a certain length that stresses will have fallen to the proportional limit of the steel for that length and greater length the buckling will be elastic so for a column to buckle elastically it will have to be long and slender so its buckling load p can be computed with the Euler formula that p equal to pi squared e i by l squared this formula usually is written in a slightly different form that involves the column slenderness ratio since radius of variation is square root of i by a we can say that i equal to a r square substituting this value into the Euler formula and dividing both sides by the cross-sectional area the Euler buckling stress is obtained so this is the Euler buckling stress p by a equal to pi squared e by l by r squared into f e so on example we will illustrate the application of Euler formula to a steel column if the value obtained for a particular column exceeds the steel proportional limit then the elastic Euler formula is not applicable here an example take a w10 by 22 section then 15 feet uh, long with pin connected column using the Euler expression determine the column's critical or buckling load assume that the steel has a proportionality limit of 36 ksi and let's repeat this part a if the length is changed to 8 feet instead of 15 feet using 15 feet long w10 by 22 we know cross-sectional area radius of gyration x and radius of gyration y the minimum radius of gyration is comparing these two r y is 1.33 and l by r will become 12 that we are converting feet to inches so 15 feet into 12 will become inch and 1.33 inches r y so we are getting 135.34 Euler elastic or buckling stress F e is pi squared e by that l by r whole square right pi squared e by l by r whole square so we are getting 15.63 ksi this is well within the proportional limit of 36 ksi column is in elastic range using 8 feet long the next option 8 feet long w10 by 22 l by r l is 8 feet so we can get the l by r is 72.18 so elastic or buckling stress we can calculate pi squared e by l by r square right so this value becomes 54.94 that is greater than the proportionality limit 36 ksi so since column is in inelastic range an either equation is not applicable